okay. I adjusted the throttle and the car got it going a little bit better, but I've never actually dug into it and done a tune up. So that's what I want to do today. See if I can tune this car a little bit better. There's way too much play in the thumb throttle. So we'll see if we can get that out. And as much as I love the sound of this exhaust, it's a Cobra aftermarket exhaust. Um, this is just for my daughter to put around in the yard in the neighborhood. So it doesn't need to sound like that for her. So luckily I have this original, I think it's an AT, Alpen ATC 70, but they're the same. So we're gonna swap this out with that louder exhaust, get it quiet down a little bit, tune up, oil change. No one needs tires, but don't have those right now. So we'll just get it running, riding good, put her on it, and if she really enjoys it and rides it a bunch, then we'll go ahead and get new tires and maybe brakes and some other things, so. It's unfortunate, the only issue with the plastic is this crack right here. The rest of it's in really good shape and this seat is awesome. It's hard to find them in nice original condition like that. Um, definitely needs some uh, steering bearing. I think there's a bearing up here. I gotta look it up and see. Looks like somebody's tried to do a homemade fix and it's failing. So we'll get that ordered. And uh, But for now, let's dig into it and see if we can't get this thing running and riding a little bit better. All right. We got the oil draining and I'm gonna drain the fuel out of the carb bowl. And if you work on ATCs or these four wheelers, get you a pair of these things, man. Uh, you can crimp, crimp the uh, gas lines. I need to get another set of, another shorter one. But... So then that way you don't have gas running out everywhere once you uh, pull these lines off. It's like that gasket's failing. All right, we'll get this taken apart and in the ultrasonic cleaner. While that's getting cleaned, um, I'm gonna do just a quick wipe down on the frame, clean out the air box, and see if I can adjust the throttle cable. <laughs> So I pulled the throttle mechanism apart and these are backed out to reduce as much tension as possible and we still got some slack. Also, I realized that my little governor screw here was in some, so I wasn't even getting the full power in the intro video. I feel like I need to reshoot it. Um, so my solution here, this is the cap that was on the carb and it had no adjuster on it. This one I found will fit and it gives it a little more tension on the throttle cable. So hopefully with that, it'll make our thumb throttle a little bit smoother. This was crumbling and falling apart. So I took the intake manifold off and found this and I had to drill it out and modify it a little bit, but it's gonna work a lot better than what was on there. So let's get this put back on, see if we can ten tension up the throttle cable and let's see. Put oil back in it, air filter was good. I wanna adjust the clutch a little bit and then we should be ready to ride. And I forgot, swap out the exhaust. All right, I got these adjusted. So now, as soon as I press, it's hard for y'all to see probably, but you can see the slide coming up. And it's going all the way up. So now, as soon as I begin to push this, I'm getting throttle, which is nice. Before it got like back here and then you started getting throttle. So now we'll get full throttle. All right. Uh, a little 
little flanges took way longer than it should have to get all lined up, but I got those all secured under there. Found another bolt to throw in here. And this should quiet down quite a bit. I'm a little surprised this uh, bike had an aftermarket exhaust with how clean and original it is. Um, so I'm curious to see how it sounds with this stock one back on there. everything I could and could not get the aftermarket carb to work. So I went digging in my box of carbs and much to my surprise, I found an original carb. Uh, it's probably from an ATC 70, but they're the exact same, uh, which is very cool. I cleaned it, had to replace a few things on it, but it's nice because now the petcock's on the right side. The choke is on the correct side, like it's supposed to be, unlike the aftermarket one is on the opposite side. So. Got that on there, got the spark plug, got the oil. We're ready to fire this thing up and see how it sounds with this exhaust on there. Sounds good. A lot more quiet. Neighbors won't be complaining when she's riding around. I like it. All right, it's about time to go grab her. So I'm gonna get this in the truck, take it home, let her cruise around the yard this evening.